take a look at some of the day's other news now. And voting is also underway in Thailand's general election seen as a potential turning point for the country. The pro-military establishment is being challenged in this election. Opinion polls have indicated major gains for opposition candidate Petong Tan Shinawat. She is a daughter of former Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat and is seen as a major contender against Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha, who's running for re-election eight years after coming to power in a coup. Live to Tony Cheng in Bangkok to find out how the election is going. What's the turnout like so far, Tony? It's pretty good. The Election Commission say that they think as many as 85% may turn out today. From what we've seen out of the polls around Bangkok, that may well be accurate. They were queuing early to get into the polls when they opened at 8 a.m. local time. There was a little drop off around lunchtime, as is always the way, blisteringly hot here in Thailand. But now the afternoon shade is coming. We're seeing people coming back into the polling booths. They're going to be voting until five, but already here, they're waiting for the moment when the polls close and the count begins. And this is something I think we're seeing all across the country. Many people, both official election observers and just locals, wanting to see the, the process is carried out as efficiently as possible. Now looking, they've cast their ballots, they want to make sure that when the ballot boxes are closed and the election officials come to start that account, that everything is clear mm. and above board. Tony, is the result likely to be clear? There is most likely to be a clear winner in this election. We've seen Per Thai, that's been the party of opposition for the last four years, with a pretty dominating lead in the polls throughout the election campaign. However, that may not be enough for them to take victory. To get a, an absolute landslide victory, they need 376 seats. That would be enough to take control of the lower house and to sort of obscure the vote of the Senate, 250 seats there. But they are all appointed by the military. So in order to get that, they would need to have an enormous landslide. That's not likely. It may well happen, though, that move forward the other party of opposition uh, and much more the progressive party of Thai politics could succeed with Per Thai in eclipsing the military parties. And I think that's really the choice that voters have been faced with. But there are other concerns that voters have. The Election Commission, which has been very sympathetic to the military in the past, is looking at disqualification issues for both of those parties. And this is Thailand. The military is never far away when it comes to politics. Okay, Tony, thank you very much for that. Tony Cheng live there in Bangkok.